everybody. We are going to do a savings challenge today, but first we're going to do a little budget review because it's good practice to check in on your budget on a very regular basis. I actually check in on my budget pretty much daily, sometimes obsessively like three times a day. That might be, yeah, that definitely is very excessive, but checking in daily every other day, whatever frequency works for you, as long as you're checking in to see that things have cleared, that there's no weird charges. If you don't ever look in at your accounts and your budget, how do you know where you're at? Anyway, let's do a check-in and then we'll get to the savings challenge. All right, so let me open my account on my other screen here. Hope everybody is having a great end of the summer. Maybe you've already started school or your kids have started school. I still have a little bit of time left before I go back. And I'm just going to enjoy every single day relaxing until that starts because I know it's going to be a very busy school year. Alrighty, so first thing I want to do is go over here to fill in any of my variable expenses. And it looks like everything has been filled in except this Dollar Tree was from the 15th. Oh, it cleared on the 15th, but it was actually from yesterday. Alright, so all of that is taken care of. Let's take a look at any credit card spending. I'm actually going to have a credit on here, a returned address, and that was, oops, you can't see it, I guess, here, $27.98. I'm putting it in as a negative because it's a return, so I needed to credit that account. And then, did I have any other spending? My husband and I did go to the grocery store. And I don't recall how much we spent. One store, okay, so I'm just going to put in here, we went to a Lidl and Weiss. And it was, the one store was, I think, 80 and the other store was about $50, I think. I think it was somewhere around $125 for groceries. Um, I'm going to have to double check with him. I don't have that receipt. Uh, yeah, he paid for that. So I'm not exactly sure where that is. Um, but I'll double check and update that as needed. That was yesterday. All right. Now, if you're new here, this purple pinkish section, this is an incomplete list of things my husband paid for so that I can really take a look at things like household spending uh, gas for the cars and groceries and pinpoint where we're spending that money, how much we're spending and where we might be able to save some money there. The red is variable expenses that I put on my credit card. I don't want them to be counted in with my other variable expended uh, variable expenses because then I'm also making credit card payment. So it's like double dipping in my debt and I don't want to do that. Then the gold is variable expending. Oh my gosh variable expenses <laughs> that I am spending cash. And so that does need to come out of variable expenses. Whew. Got to get my words together. I'm going back to school. All right. So quick little review here. I don't think anything else has come out. Nope. No, it has not. So quick little review, $1,732.12 in income for the August 11th paycheck. $497 so far has gone towards fixed expenses this month. $983.37 towards debt. That includes $750 towards that private student loan and then the rest towards my credit card. This is the last month where I won't have any kind of student loan payment, uh, federal student loan payments, I should say. I have $138.80 in variable expenses plus, oh, I never totaled this. Okay. Plus $10.08. 
I will have to take care of that. Um, I did budget. Well, originally I did not budget to send anything towards savings this month. However, for this paycheck, I did budget a hundred dollars. So I'm going to share with you right now what we're doing with that hundred dollars. Well, actually, before I do that, I just want to check in with you to see if you're subscribed to my channel. If you're not, you might want to get subscribed by hitting that little button down below. I'm giving away $250 when I hit 2,500 subscribers. You don't want to mess out on that free cash. So hit subscribe, share with a friend, like the video, all the YouTube things. All right, let's get to the challenge. At the beginning of the summer, if you weren't here or if you were, you might recall that I was paying down my credit card and I had, I forget what the balance was, but I said if I took from all the different savings that I had, all my reselling, that I would have enough to pay off my credit card and that's what I did. I took from all the savings. <laughs> so what I want to share with you right now is I actually put that money back. So one of the savings count, I took out $190 and that was from my Capital One savings. Here, you can see that I put it back. I now have $192.21 uh, $192 as my balance. There was a little bit of interest in there. So I did put that money back into the savings that it was in. Uh, that money came from the buffer that had been building up for a bit now in my checking account. The other savings account that I had was my Discover account. I had taken out, uh, I think it was $280. So my balance in that account is $281.03. That $1.03 was also from interest that had accrued. So now that re that savings account has been restored. I haven't budgeted anything to go into that Discover savings account. However, I do have $100 budgeted for the 100 envelope challenge, which I do digitally. So let me share that with you. If you have been here, let me refresh your memory. And if you're new, here it is. I think I have it linked down below for you as well. Here are my 100 envelopes. I did contribute to four of them. Then I withdrew that. That has been restored. So we're back where we need to be. So here's all my envelopes. Here are my numbers, which will go on the wheel. What I did is since at the time I had to have a minimum of $25 to transfer to my Capital One savings account, um, I ended up taking numbers 25 through 100. And then for the other ones, I kind of just did a bunch of 100, some 75s, 50s, 25s. And then I still had a few more leftovers. So I chose 40 as the last increment since that was my age at the time. So now I'm going to add all my different denominations over into my wheel. So I have all my denominations listed over here. I'm going to give it a good shuffle um, just because I feel like that's just fun. <laughs> Get it mixed up a little bit. All right, here we go. I'm going to click to spin it. See what's it going to land on. Is it going to be low? Is it going to be high? Oh, it is right in the middle. 50. All right, I'm going to remove. 50. I'm going to go back over here to my spreadsheet and my envelope number five is 50. And then I'm going to remove 50 from my list. Now I do have a hundred dollars budgeted for this challenge. So do I spin again <laughs> and risk having more than $50? Or should I just leave it as is and take that $50 and roll it into a different savings account? Uh, let me know in the comments, what would you do? Would you do another roll and risk going over budget? Or would you just take that $50 and send it to a different savings account or challenge or just leave it in your account, your checking account as a buffer? Let me know in the comments down below before I make my decision. While you're down there, don't forget to let me know if you have a channel too. I definitely want to support you. I appreciate you being here supporting me. And when you support me, not only are you supporting 
me and my family and cheer me on for this debt-free journey, you are also supporting my students and that is huge for me. So thank you so much for being here for me, but also know it supports my students and that means the world to me. So did you let me know what you would do? Hmm. I think, oh my gosh, I'm not really sure what to do here. Like on one hand, I definitely want to spin again. However, going back over here to my review, I never actually got down here to the last part. Out of this paycheck from August 11, I only have $12.95 left. <laughs> so it's a little unnerving. <laughs> I think because I had already put more towards debt because I had to make a credit card payment uh, with school starting up, I might need some things for my classroom. I definitely need to get some new um, some new things uh, from Lane Bryan. Uh, so I think, ah, do I risk it or not? Uh, really want to do a little bit more saving. <laughs> um, I think I'm just going to leave it right here. Only because $12.95 is really close to zero. So if I were to spend something like $75, of course I have a buffer. But I don't really want to use my buffer. So if I were to roll like anything over $50, I'd be taking from my buffer. And I don't really want to do that. Okay, I decided. I'm going to leave it at $50 and we're going to revisit this at the end of the month. By then, uh, school will be started, so I will see where I'm at with that, and then I'll decide then. So for right now, we're leaving it at $50. All right, which means I need to go in here to my 100 envelope savings challenge folder and go to transfer money, which of course I'm not going to show you because of sensitive information on the screen, like account numbers. So we're in a chance for $50. All right, here we go. $50 to my 100 envelope challenge account on today. And there it is. Oh, there it is. So I'll go back here. I'm going to make this purple just to let myself know that that was transferred. If you guys don't know me by now, you know, I love a good spreadsheet. I love color coding things. And then I did remove the $50 from my list so I can delete and move up. All right. Well, that's it for today. I'll be back on Friday with Frugal Friday. If you want to get a head start on my Frugal Friday tips, you could check out these videos here. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We have that giveaway coming up when I hit 2,500 subscribers. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.